Okay, last time I was a wee bit off center and that really bugged me. So here we are today trying to be centered. I really was not well put together today, but I needed to film and so here we are. <laughs> I didn't even take to my shirt. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and leggings because it snowed and I don't feel like doing anything. Classes got canceled. I didn't have to go to lab. So this is what I'm doing instead of going to lab, um, which I'm actually super excited about because I have a new like video kind of for you guys today. Um, that was a really high pitched voice that I didn't like. What's up and welcome back to the neighborhood. I am Piper Elizabeth and you're watching me. Um, if you don't get that, then you didn't have a childhood. I'm super excited today because I have my October favorites, which is a video that I haven't, like the type of video that I haven't done before. So I'm not reviewing anything. I'm just giving you guys the tea on what I feel like is worth the coin. That's worth the tea. Um, not really the tea, the coin. That's worth the coin. Wow, I didn't write anything down for this video. So we're gonna see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I'm missing a brand that I really, yes, a clothing brand, I'll be right back. Except I think it's dirty. Man, oh man, yikes. Okay, where did I put all this stuff? Now that we're six minutes in, I've figured out what I'm doing this month. What am I doing today? Oh, I'm excited because it's the end of the month and I've wanted to do this for the past couple of months, but I feel like I've always had a, like, um, something, I don't know. I don't really know why I haven't done this yet and I was going to make something up, but I couldn't think of anything that sounded really good. So I've always wanted to do this and I'm so excited to do it today. I am doing a... Oh, October's favorites. And I wanted to do this since I started the channel, but I just didn't have enough stuff. So this is like everything from the beginning of my channel until now, what I've reviewed, what I've tried. Even some of it is off camera. Two things off camera. I haven't shown you guys them yet, but they will be coming soon. Um, but these are my October favorites. So I think I have 10 brands, 10 black owned brands that I feel like you guys should try. And these are the must, the, the must haves and worth the money. Um, so I have stuff from every category. I have hair, I have face. Uh, what else do I have? I have candles and I have clothing. So that's pretty much everything I've done on this channel that are must haves. Oh, I also have jewelry. So let's, 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 let's jump in. Let's jump in, fam. So pretty much everything I've tried on this channel I've liked, but for them to be my favorites, they had to be worth the coin and something that I actually found myself using every single day and something that I actually genuinely liked. We're going to start, I think we're going to start with candles because I only have two candles. So, and I just did them. So if you want to see my candle video, I'll link it right here. I have or three candles in there, four candles really in there that you should try, um, but my top two. So one of them I don't have, which is Destiny's Handcrafted Candles. I talked about that in my last video. I just used the candle and I've been meaning to buy more, but I feel like you get the most bang for your buck out of her. Like you can get two for 20. I feel like they burned a really long time. And the one I got, I absolutely loved, which was Hey Big Head. It was Vanilla Cashmere. I believe that was the one. If you don't buy two, they're twelve dollars. So if you buy two, they're twenty. I feel like you just get a it's just a bit a good bang for your buck and they're super cute packaging. Um, and I really just like the whole vibe. This is my next favorite. And I wasn't I almost wasn't gonna include the Lorraine candles because I couldn't figure out how I bought it. Like even after that video, I tried to go on and figure out how I bought it. I think her website is under construction, but I just love this candle. I still haven't burned it, but it smells amazing. Maybe I should burn it before I um, put it. I just, oh, I just want to smell it forever. I just think it's super cute. And I also feel like this is really good bang for your buck. It's also a soy candle, so I know it's going to burn well. And she's doing a bunch of stuff for the, for the holidays, which I really want to get one then for, for the whole, I really want to get a candle, her, one of her candle, I, I, Oh my, I really want to get one of her holiday candles. 
is that English? Yes. This, those are my two candles that I feel like I just couldn't, I couldn't live without. And now we're gonna move on to, what do we, what do we wanna do? What do I wanna do? I think I wanna do clothes because I love clothes. So this next one is a little um, wrinkly because it was in my hamper because I've been wearing it. And I am a sweatshirt gal. If you know anything about me, I am like I will wear sweatshirts every single day. I have so many sweatshirts and I don't like to get rid of them. And then like I used to try to dress up for my channel, but I'm like, I'm just a sweatshirt kind of gal. Um, so yeah, I've been just wearing sweatshirts and it's cold so I don't feel like really doing anything. But this is a sweatshirt that I have been wearing recently and I just feel like it's so cute. The material is great on it. I feel like the logo is so cute. It keeps me warm and I really like the style. And I wore it with some mom jeans the other day and I feel like it was super cute and like fashionable. I got it oversized so it's like an extra large. But it's the Saint and I got it from False Ego um, which if you haven't seen that video you know the drill, I'll link it for you. False Eagle allows other black owned brands to take up retail space in their store. So this is one of the brands that they allow to take up their space, which is St. Michael's. Um, and it's, it's a wee, it's wee, it's definitely a wee bit expensive. This sweatshirt was $68, um, which is slight, slightly expensive, but I, I have to say, if I had to buy it with my own money, I definitely would. I definitely would do that again. But yeah, I really like that and I've been wearing it nonstop. So it's cute is what I'm trying to say. Now my next brand, this is one of the most recent ones I did, um, is the God is Dope. Um, and I got this one. So this is was one of the shirts that actually my friend sent me. Shout out to you, Jess. Um, I just really like the message and Black Women Matter. You guys know my thing about Black women. I feel like you have to say woman, not girls, because then you're still it's like a backhanded compliment because you don't think Black women are women. You think they're girls and they're not mature and all, all this X Y Z P B Q pretty much. Um, but I just really like this brand and I think it's cool. I also just feel like. I don't know I feel like it's a good brand and I actually had a roommate and semester at sea who used to wear this brand all the time like she had a, a um what is a hat a hat <laughs> she, she had a hat and then she had like two other shirts and she really liked this brand um and they were always super cute and I always asked her about it I just didn't know it was black owned and at that time I didn't have a YouTube channel so here we are. So yeah, I really do like God is Dope and I love, love this shirt and I've seen it on more people and I'm like, yes, I love it. Now the next brand, oh, I actually have another, oh no, I actually have another shirt from these people. Um, but it is the Be A Good Person and I love, I absolutely love this shirt. So my friend, shout out to you, George, um, she got me one for my birthday and I reviewed it. It's that black crop and it says be a good person in white. And then it's like a black short sleeve crop. And then I got this one when I went to False Ego. It's the shirts and it says April showers, bring May flowers. And then on the back it says be a good person. I really just like this brand because I really like what they stand for and I feel like it's a good quality shirt, A, but also I just really like what they stand for more than anything. Let me pull up, pull up my shirt real quick, I'm very anal about that. Uh, oh no, my, it's gonna die. So my, my battery died, but we're back. So yeah, those are my three, I'm breathing heavy, they're, 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 those are my top ones, okay? Just, I don't, I don't have to explain myself to you. Those are my top ones. Now, the only reason I didn't include my Protect Black Youth and Humanize Blackness um, sweatshirts were because they took so long to come in. And one of them has a hole like in the pocket area. But I really like that brand. I just feel like they took so long to come. So... I don't know, and that was at the beginning of COVID, but I also don't find myself 
reaching as much for those sweatshirts like those are sweatshirts that are really comfy and easy to wear um but i feel like the saint sweatshirt is more of like a style and like a look if that makes sense if that's a thing if you get what i'm saying like leave a comment because i think there's different sweatshirts like there's like a sweatshirt for an outfit and then there's a sweatshirt like i'm cold that's a fact. I'm really trying to up my jewelry game and my best friend has a jewelry business so it's like a win-win, you know what I'm saying? What I'm talking about is jonte, jonte jewelry. Um, because these, these, I got two, I told you guys I would get two and I got two and I still wear these. I have my little like Apple watch and I put these on and it's just the whole look, the whole, it's a whole look. But yeah, these two bracelets, I absolutely love um if you can see them but yeah they they're just cute and they actually fit my wrist because i have really small wrists i've been talking about them you should really just just get something i also have this bracelet which i think is super cute as well and if you're somebody like me who has like not a unique name but like a name mm, yeah I guess it's unique I don't really think my name's that unique but if you're somebody like me who like the first letter of your name isn't that like common you can't find like initial things and I know my best friend and I know she did this for me because she knows I can never find anything with a P on it so I have this little anklet that has a little P on it and it's so cute I do love it I'm not wearing it right now um because but when I play volleyball, um, I feel like I'm gonna break it because my ankle's weird. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, I, I, I do, I do love this, and it's like a cute little accessory. I didn't realize how much anklets could change a whole vibe. But now we're gonna get into the good stuff. I can't decide if I want to do hair or face. I think I'm gonna do hair first because there's two products in here that I haven't even shown you guys. Um, because I feel like for a while I was doing a lot of hair, a lot of hair, and I felt like that was just a lot. So the first one I'll talk about, because I did show you guys this, is the Creme Brulee for Kinks, Curls, and Coils, the Beja Floor Naturals. Um, this, you guys remember this, love, love, love this stuff. It smells good like you smell good all day every time i use this stuff which it's almost empty i've i've been trying not to use it because i want to do a hair um tutorial for you guys with this and one other thing that i have today because the the combo the combo of the two hits hits different at first this stuff was super nourishing i think it just took me a few tries to like figure out how to use this and i found the combo and i was like hold up Sis. I'm gonna be buying more of this. This was a gift for my birthday, so thank you, cuz. Um, you're you're the best, cuz this stuff is bomb. Like this. Let me see what else I have. Yeah, this 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 is probably my number one. I'm not gonna lie, this is my number one. It's a game changer. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, worth worth ev worth every penny. And then, and then, I found this Camilla Rose honey hydrate it's only the step one it looks like this which it's not gonna focus but it's fine um because i'm gonna show you guys the two of these soon i think this is actually my second bottle so i it like looks like honey like do you see how slow it moves but it's not sticky um but this stuff is even this by itself really like i used a little bit of this um the other day and then just like some mousse and my hair was was looking good volume on point so yeah i do really 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 like this. this again this is my second bottle and i bought it just so i could show you the combo of these two which is killer if you're looking for something one or the other this one is a little more expensive this one's at target you can literally go to target and pick up this whole line which i haven't tried the whole line but i really like this stuff so maybe try the whole line let me know what you think now the next one i actually this is like okay so let, let me explain so the next one is mixed chicks i actually got this for 
I got this from my brother's girlfriend um, for my birthday. And I had tried mixed chicks before. I didn't know they were black owned, but um, which are they still black owned? I should have looked that up. They're still black owned. I've actually tried mixed chicks, mixed chicks before and didn't love it, but that's before I was like really on my curly hair train. And this is the deep conditioner. Oh. Wait. Oh, lol. I was doing this wrong the whole time. Oh, well. I, you learn something new every day. I didn't, I, I read it, but I didn't read it. You know what I'm saying? So this is the deep conditioner, which you can absolutely use as a deep conditioner. I used it as a, like, curling cream. And I will say this performed very well. The smell of it is, it's, it smells like conditioner, so I should have known. But I really, really like it because it gives you a very, like, more volumized which hold on um i do really like it because i feel like it gave it gave me a more volumized not as defined curls but like very volumized hair which i like so when i use ooh, when i use this combo it's like very defined curls very moisturized they're not as easy to like move around and flip like Kind of wherever you put them is where they dry in a sense if you know what i'm saying if you don't know you, you probably don't have curly hair no i'm just kidding but not really but yeah so they're like two different type of days like if i want to have like more volume and i'm not really sure what i'm trying to say at the moment but this is more volumized and not as defined i know why i was going while this stuff is very, very defined and moisturized. So it's just depending on my day and what my mood is and um, what, what my look is for the day. And it depends on what I use. So yeah, I really do like that stuff. Definitely worth trying out if you're struggling on your curly hair journey. Now, I'm gonna move on to skincare, which I absolutely love. So the first one is like one of is this one of my first videos yeah this is like one of my first videos which is just like almost empty but actually i still have a decent amount in there i feel like um this is the black girl sunscreen that i did a review on and i still love this stuff it still is part of my um daily routine i will say i've been slacking lately but I, I do, I really, really appreciate this stuff and love this stuff and it doesn't irritate my skin. I don't feel like it makes me super oily. So yes, Black Girl Sunscreen is worth the money, is worth putting into your skincare routine. And I don't remember who I was talking to. One of my white friends, one of my white friends I was talking to them. And they were like, oh, I thought it was only for black people. And I was like, That's, that's not what it is like anybody can use this it's just marketed towards black people because white people sunscreen turns purple is the moral of that story so yeah you could absolutely use this and this is reef friendly so worth the money got it add it to your skincare routine it's gonna change your life okay next and like kind of lastly is the urban skin rx which i got from femaler oh my god i forgot one of my favorite things actually two of them i might go grab them yeah let me show you guys i've been using this like not non-stop and i love it it's kind of looks it's like getting to the bottom so it kind of looks a little like gross but i feel like this stuff has changed the game so much so that i bought another one in like the real like this is the travel size um not that you can't take this one on a plane but this um is the clear skin cleansing bar and this is the clear skin even tone 
so i love the even tone i want to try the cleansing bar because this is for acne and this is for like evening your skin tone and i feel like i wanted to lean more towards acne so i'm gonna actually review this soon but this this brand i feel like was a gate was a game changer so i highly recommend it's slightly expensive it is at target i bought this one at target um i i will say it's slightly expensive but if you're like struggling i feel like it's worth the i feel like it is worth the money i don't actually put it in the shower so what i do is like before i get in the shower i wet the sponge and then wash my face with it and then when i get in the shower i just rinse it off in the shower i feel like it's just a little bit easier um that's just what i do because i'm weird um but then i got this even tone super glow serum which i haven't even tried out yet so i really want to try it out i guess is what i'm saying but yes this brand i do not love that smell but a video will be coming soon so i will review that but that smell was un unrefreshing well I was trying to keep this to 10, like companies, but no, no, I feel like, okay, I was going to add that brush I got in um, the female art this past month. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll look it up and I'll, I'll put it right here for you. I do really like that brush. Um, I think it's really great for detangling. I'm hesitant to put it in like my holy grail October favorites, even though I use it ev like every day. I think the Denman brush overall does a better job of bunching my curls. So now I feel like I'm using two brushes and I don't feel like the Denman brush is horrible to detangle with. So that's kind of like my drawback is I, do I think it's worth detangling? Like if you have a nappy headed kid or you're nappy headed yourself and you're really like sensitive, I think that brush does an amazing job but I feel like you have to then use two brushes to kind of bunch your curls back together. I think the Denon brush does a really good job of spreading out my product and kind of bunching my curls back together, which I don't think that brush does. So that's kind of my drawback. I feel like that that is my October favorites that I feel like best bang for your buck or things that I feel like, I know, best bang for your buck and things that I feel like I've used consistently outside of filming worn consistently outside of filming have genuinely liked enjoyed um used so i didn't add anything in here that i'm like oh well my friend no like i love the candle that i got from destiny's handmade candles i love my friend's jewelry business it's really like for me a very great opportunity to kind of dabble in jewelry and not have to spend an absorbent amount of money and I'm supporting a college black woman you know everything everything I showed you guys today I personally use wasn't paid because I don't get paid to do this so yeah um you know what you guys have a great rest of your day your night your evening I'm not really sure what time you're gonna watch this and uh yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave you. So peace out. I hope September, October, November brings you joy and happiness. Do you guys see how crooked that finger is? Wow, I just haven't noticed that.